Hey, y'all come on into quarantine, whatever. Quarantine, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but I just know I'm glad I'm here and I'm glad you are where you are joining me in the kitchen because can you believe that we have been dealing with COVID since, what was it March? Yes, March. yes. Can you believe it? And now we're getting close to the end of the year. <clears throat> I mean, it's just got to be gone. <clears throat> Excuse me, I got a frog in my throat. Uh, so, here's what I'm doing, y'all. I'm going to start today sharing with y'all uh, my favorite family recipes for Thanksgiving. And I'm only going to take one dish at a time. So you can keep these and uh, go back to them when you're ready to start working on your Thanksgiving meal. And these are either most requested for Thanksgiving or my family's favorites. So I'm excited to do this. And the first recipe I'm doing today is the Lady and Son Squash Casserole. And it's just out of this world. So easy, so delicious. The hardest part is slicing up your squash, truly. That's, and it's not hard. Just takes a few minutes. All right, so uh, I do want to tell you all this, share this with you. It's important that you saute your onions in some butter separate from your squash. I don't know why. I don't know why but I tasted our squash casserole one day and I went into the kitchen and I said, are y'all sauteing the onions separately in butter? And they said, uh, no ma'am. I said, well, it's very important because I could taste that casserole and tell that it was not done the way I had requested it being done. It just, it's so much better. Uh, if that onion is cooked separate. And we cooked our squash, and I just put it in a in a skillet or a saucepan. I actually use this pan right here, Eddie. Right there. And uh, Teresa prepped this squash, and she did it so nice and thin. And that takes time, Teresa, to slice. I'm not, give you the I'm not that precise. I just chomp, chomp, chomp. Mandolin. I used my mandolin. Oh, you did use the mandolin. And it took me literally was, like five minutes to yes, get it done. I was going to say, I mean, this is perfect. How did you get it so dang dumb perfect? Choo, 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 choo. And it did not take any time. So if you have one, it's worth it. So I put uh, this beautiful uh, squash in my pan with a couple of tablespoons of butter and house seasoning. No water. No water because squash can, contains so much water in itself. And uh, I wanna just show y'all. Now, I pressed that much water out of that squash when I, when I put it in a, a colander. And Paula, that says so six that's cups, crazy. but I put eight cups in there, just so everybody knows. Okay. I always do a little bit more of everything, because you always do more of everything. Yes, I kind of do. <laughs> so, don't cook this in water, or uh, if you do, you're going to have to pick up your squash and squeeze it. And see, I can still get water out of it, but it's not enough to make our squash casserole soupy. So, I'm going to add our onion, that wonderful, wonderful onion that I saute until it's kind of translucent, and some butter. We'll stir that together. All right, now let me see what I'm doing here. So, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to put a little bit more butter in my skillet. And I'm gonna turn that on kind of low and just let that butter melt. And now I'm gonna add my cheese. Uh, what did it call for? A cup, mm -hmm. Teresa. But you know, that's a cup in the <laughs> She did pull 
saw measurements. I'm learning. So <laughs> it was like a heaping cup, right? <laughs> a very good one. Yes. Perfect. Well, you gotta be careful. She may still add cheese on top of what she. Well, that's <laughs> that, that's exactly what I was thinking no, when I was. No, we're not. We're actually not. But although we could, <laughs> uh, the reason we're not gonna add cheese on the top is because this buttery cracker right here. I'm gonna toss it in a skillet and let it bathe in that melted butter for a minute, and that's what we're gonna top it with. So that's gonna give us a crunchy, crunchy top. Golden brown and crunchy. And I did no extra sour cream because I know that's the wet stuff in it. That's right. You don't want it to be. Listen. Listen Teresa, to me. Teresa ain't no dummy. I might be making it She's to chef smart. status one day. I know, she graduated from college. But me, I rode by one one day. I just forgot to stop the car and get out and go in. I might as well have just <laughs> rode by. I don't recommend that to you kids. I recommend that you do like Miss Teresa and stop that car and Mr. Eddie too. Oh, Mr. Eddie graduated from SCAD. Yeah, Mr. Eddie's Where did you graduate from, Teresa? Georgia Southern. That's right, I I'm knew that. I'm straight by. <laughs> oh, I know better than that. Well, I was did you really? Mm -hmm. I was a much more better candidate for a social See, if, I, if I'd have gone, that's what I'd have. I'd have been trying to knock everybody out of the way so I could be a cheerleader. <laughs> All righty, so that's our squash casserole. You got your butter over there? Yes. I hear it. Mm hmm. Mm. So, our butter's melted. So, I'm just going to toss those crumbs in that butter because I hate when a recipe tells you to dot it, dot the top with butter, because every crumb is not getting butter. I didn't spray the pan, should I have spray? Uh, you know, that's all right, okay. Teresa, because this is a non-stick, so I believe it will be all right. Okay. All right, so I had to add a little bit more butter to get all those crumbs wet. That's shocking, isn't it, Eddie? <laughs> Okie dokie. We don't wanna brown these because they're gonna brown when we put it in the oven. You know what, Teresa? Yum. I believe I will just spray it just for good measure. Well, good luck for fun. <laughs> If I can remember it's, it's, going. It's in the, uh, it's over here. I it's think. over here. Over oh, where? In the, uh, Oh, place. yay. <laughs> Y'all know I'm in a strange kitchen. Oh, there it is on the top shelf. Yeah. And look, here's some butter. Butter flavored. Let's use that. Okay, donkey. All right, so in goes our squash and cheese and sour cream. I make stuff this sometimes outside of Thanksgiving because I like it so Oh, much. listen, I made this last night. <laughs> I made this last night for dinner. Yeah, last night. Uh, because squash, good fresh squash is still coming in. Look at that. Yeah. You know, this is one of uh, our guest favorite side dishes at the Lady and Sons. And I think it's called Dean's Family Kitchen. And some of them they'll do. I don't know if they switch back and forth between squash and broccoli casserole. They're both delicious. All right, so we're just gonna sprinkle those cracker crumbs. And remember, everything's done. Everything's cooked. So all we have to do is heat this through. And you can make this squash casserole. Let it cool, put it in your refrigerator, cover it. And uh, Thanksgiving morning, 
You can pop it in the oven for about 25 minutes. It may take a little longer if it's chilled, if it's been in your fridge, but it's so, so simple and so delicious. Your guests will love it. So that's it. In the oven until it's bumpy and your cracker crumbs are toasty brown. I hate those butt shots. <laughs> I seen you, Eddie. <laughs> oh, y'all. I slipped. Listen to Teresa. She's just talking to herself, y'all. Uh, I slipped a little bit of that squash casserole out where Michael said, I'm the master of digging under, <laughs> getting into a casserole or even a, a piece of cake and um, getting me out of taste. So here's our squash casserole. It's ready. 20, 25 minutes in the oven. And it's so delicious. Mm. I know your family's gonna love this. And um, I think I was saying a little while ago, you can do your squash casserole and put everything in it except your crackers. And it'll last for uh, two or three days in the refrigerator, don't you think? Which is perfect. Because there's no, a bunch of meat, yes, a bunch of there's no eggs in it. Yeah. No, no mayonnaise. Just the sour cream cheese? Yes, it? yes. So uh, everything is cooked. Just let it cool completely before you put it in your refrigerator because you don't want anything to sour on you. But to me, this is our tried and true lady and son's mm -hmm. recipe. So we've got the first recipe for our Thanksgiving meal in the canyon. Yay. So I can't wait to share the next one with y'all. Oh, and if you have any request, or write me or text me. <laughs> Love and best dishes, y'all. We're off to a great start. Hey, y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.